Hi, I am Jason Miller, strategic sorcery guy, you know, that's me. This is Purba, also known as Akila in Sanskrit, Purba in Tibetan. You've probably seen them at your local occult store, New Age store, Tibetan store, certainly you've seen one. You may have seen it in a movie like uh, The Golden Child, Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, want the knife, please, or... The, the Shadow with I like Baldwin. Uh, I know there's a video game that, that uses the Purba, but the Purba is a real thing with a, a history going back well over a thousand years. And 25 years ago, I became absolutely obsessed with Purba. I had to know the sorcery surrounding the razor nail. And I remember uh, then penniless Jason begging my good friend, uh, to drive me like three and a half hours away and just drop me off at a Dharma center where we found out they were giving me the empowerment. And uh, I had nowhere to stay. I slept on the floor of the Dharma center. I had no way to pay for the empowerment. I swept floors and, and did some work study uh, and then had to beg a ride back to Philadelphia where I live. But I got the empowerment. And that sparked more experiences like that, where I just started hunting down anyone that knew anything about Purba, more initiations, more teachings, eventually moving to Nepal between 99 and 2000. So important was the Kila to me that I gave up all other types of magic for over two years. And the way that I was able to do this is that Anything that you need can be termed as an obstacle that can be put under the purba, that the purba can nail down. And so if it's healing, it can be nailed down, drawn out of someone. If it's wealth, the obstacles between you and what you need can be nailed down. If it is influence, there are ways of nailing down that influence. And of course, wrath goes without saying. So it took me a long time to learn what I've learned. And I have been asked for a number of years to put together a teaching of traditional Purba teachings. Nothing outside uh, or invented the, the traditional teachings, but to do it in a strategic sorcery method of teaching. So a very methodical, with a focus on the essentials, a building, like learn this, then do this, then do that, and soon you'll have a mastery of something or at least a competency in something. I think mastery gets promised far too often, don't you? Um, but you will be able to use the Purba for magic. And if you decide to go further, if you decide to go seek traditional teachings from, from Tibetan lamas, and I absolutely recommend anyone and everyone does, I hope to be able to prepare you to do that and also to get the most out of it as a magician, as a sorcerer, which is something that people from our community uh, have a hard time with when they interact with the Dharma. They, they know that the magic is there, the sorcery is there, but they have a hard time seeing it. So I just wrapping up the first cycle of Purba, Sorcery of the Razor Nail, uh, a five-month course taught in audio lessons. And now, because it was such a success and because people uh, benefited and requested that I give the teaching again, I am doing so. So check out the information below for, you know, who, what, where, when, etc. And I hope that you sign up. Class starts on March Fourth, so I hope to uh, hear from you then. Thank you so much.